Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on October the 30th, 2024, on a Wednesday. So this month is, uh, you know, this month is rounding up, as they say. And a lot, a lot of people are experiencing changes in their weather, uh, like we are. <laughs> we're, we're, in a, we're at a very comfortable um, temperature in my neck of the woods. And I hope everyone is enjoying the moments of these changing times, as they say. Because they are. These are defining moments. Trust me on that. Defining. These are defining moments. And that's very important to consider if you choose to. You remember, you got free will. So, I told you that evolution of the consciousness happens unconsciously. Okay, so in other words, as you are evolving your consciousness and developing yourself, the results, I mean, the, the, the action is taking place unconsciously. So as you are developing yourself, you're kind of, you know, stirring yourself up, so to speak, where you are, you are coming together. You know, you know, I told you we're like uh, bits of pieces, you know, kind of expanded out in the universe and our responsibility is to bring it all together as one. Because at the end of the day, we're all one. Okay? We're all one. So it's going to be trillions and trillions and trillions upon trillions of years before it's, that is um, accepted, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um, a lot of people, like I said, believe that they, once they die, you know, presently, once they die, they, they go to their maker. And that's anything but true, anything but true. And it's kind of sad because a lot of people, as I said, you know, they're just in a spin, a spin, a spin, repeating, 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 and not not evolving at all, you know, on a personal level of evolution, our, our responsibility of that. We're just, a lot of them, a lot of people are just stagnated, just right there, just below the surface. And they're going to operate there forever and ever and ever. I say they're going to spin out eventually and into a, an, into a black hole and become some other sort of, some, some other form of energy, you know, because it all, it's all energy at the end of the day. And if you understand energy, it's dispersed in different ways and fashion. It has a negative and a positive, which it has to, it, that is necessary, but it's not the negative and positive that we understand on a material level. But it has a negative and positive, and, and so it's dispersed differently throughout the universe. It's used differently throughout the universe. Uh, and other planets, on other planets, they're not using uh, energy for weapons. <laughs> okay, I can guarantee you that. Or nuclear weapons or any type of weaponized. You know, our, all of our energy is weaponized. And so there's a problem with the ener energy grid. There's a problem with the electrical grid that has been going on for decades upon decades. And now it's at a point of catastrophe. Okay. And then now we, and now everybody wants to go to electric vehicles. Okay. That's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of people. A rude awakening. Um, so what I want to say today, like I said, the evolution of the consciousness that process of evolving is unconscious. You have no idea that you're evolving. But trust me, if you don't put in the work, you'll, you, you'll know. Okay, you, you will know. And in other words, I told you that all of us uh, have a knowing about something. We all know the difference between right and wrong. I can guarantee you that. We've been at this for millions of years. This, this process of you know, uh, being a human being in the true sense has been going on for millions of years. There have been several messengers that have come through, attempted to help. At some point, you know, it's, it, it's, it's uh, believed that it worked and people are doing what they're supposed to do. They're doing, you know, they're, they're righteous, but then something always seems to snap. And the same level of people conjure up the conjures up things you know and impound it even more with negative criminal energy and then here we go again destroying this planet again and or destroying the human beings more so than anything um there will be human beings okay that are currently alive now there are i mean they're going to go extinct just like the neanderthals okay a lot of people think that's a joke 
or see it as a joke, but there will be a series of human beings that will go extinct. Okay? And that's gonna and that's gonna be something that people are gonna be able to witness as well. Okay. There are some people that are going to be allergic to elements of the sun. The sun is going to be uh, uh, a death trap for them. In other words, they can't, they won't be able to enjoy the sun. They have to do everything indoors. Okay. Um, and you remember the sun is active whether it's cloudy, cloudy or gray, you know, cloudy or gray. The sun is still has some impact and power and radiation. Okay. So, the clouds won't protect some people. Okay, where like I said, they're allergic to the sun to where their their body's not gonna sustain the uh exposure. So they have to be indoors forever, you know, during their lives. They may be able to do some things during the evening time, but you know, how much can you do during the evening when stuff has to be done? So there's just gonna be a lot of people be, have to be uh, creative. But again, the evolution of your consciousness is done unconsciously. You have no idea that you're that you're evolving, but you will have a knowing as such. And you know, and for a lot of people, it's just too late. You know, it's too late. It's just like being in a you know, just think about being in in a school setting. You know, you have kindergarten, and you have something you know, advanced stages of education. If you don't get yourself out of kindergarten, you know, as a kindergartner. You're not going to go to the next level. You're not going to go to the next level. You know, you know, so that's what it is. We, a lot of us are just comfortable being kindergartners, comfortable being materialistic, comfortable there. Okay. You know, you, you do have free will, you know, you do have, um, consequences for everything you do. So you bear, you bear the brunt of your reality or lack thereof. So again, do the work, do the work. Do not be so concerned necessarily about um, elements of your development that you cannot control. You know, uh, when I say stuff is done unconsciously, that's what it, that's what happens. And for some people, they may not see, may not believe that they are they are not getting results. And that's that hard. That's what I say. Be just, just relax. Take a deep breath. Relax. Do what you're supposed to do. Be righteous. Pay attention to your surroundings. Stay in your, stay grounded. Be realistic. Okay, don't go off in your fantasies or in your hallucination or your, indoc you know, just do what you're supposed to do. Be realistic. Be kind and gentle with yourself. Some of you, like I said, are fabulous. And I, did, I you know, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that again as to, you know, you know, it's almost a self, you know, it's like self-defeating yourself. You're self-defeating. You know, you, you're doing fantastic, wonderful things, but you, you keep doubting yourself. Self-doubt is a, is a, uh, it's a game changer and a negative, you know, it's a, it's a negative game changer. Meaning, yeah, sometimes, you know, because you, we will make some steps forward and then some steps back. That's just how it goes. You know, you're going to, as you Walking on your path, you're going to step on something that may injure you. You may get knocked upside the head by this or that and the other. But you have to get back up and keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. So I just want to share that this morning on this Tuesday. I have some things I need to do. And, you know, of course, uh, you know, you, of course, you know, I'll be back. You know, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so enjoy your moments. Have fun. Laugh. Laugh at yourself. You know what I mean? When, especially when you're being so hard on yourself. Laugh at yourself and say, cut it out. I, there's nothing going on any more than anybody else with me. Some of you, like I said, embrace your fabulousness. But you don't have to share that. Nobody has to know. Embrace your uh, your uh, love. You know, Embrace your self-love. So many people are talking about self-love, and I can guarantee you, they're doing anything but that. They'll say it on social media platform. They'll say it in speeches. They'll say it in front of people. You know, but it's what's going on inside of you. All right? And no one has to know. So, peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.